Hello, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the van. Today, I'm going to head over to Cock and Wood. Sorry, I'm very childish. I cannot say that without laughing. But today, I'm going to head over to Cock and Wood with my dogs, Tank and Lexi, for a walk through the woods and then down to Finkel Abbey for a walk around the ruins. Now, Finkel Abbey is only about 10 miles from me and about four miles from Durham City. And it's the ruins of a 13th century Benedictine Priory. Whew! <laughs> Got that out in one go, one go. Benedictine Priory. I love going there with my dogs, especially in the winter because you've usually got the place to yourself, to be honest. And if you haven't, you might bump into one or two other dog walkers. It is very popular with dog walkers in the summer, but in the winter, you tend to have the place to yourself. Now, there's a lovely, relaxing little walk along the banks of the river, go down the muddy path through Cock and Wood, and that leads to a bridge that crosses over the river weir where you can find Finkel Abbey. There's also a little shop and a cafe there and toilets if you want to use the toilet. It's a lovely place and definitely somewhere to consider for a visit if you're passing through the northeast. Now, Finkel Abbey Touring Park is right behind the Abbey. Now, I've never stayed there, but according to their website, it's an adult-only, award-winning campsite. And I'll put a link to the campsite in the description below if you want to go and check it out for yourself. Now, I'm going to drive out to Finkel Abbey and park at the top of Cock and Wood. It's only a short walk from the road down through the woods and across the river to the Abbey. So I'm just going to park at the top. I'm not going to go down into the Abbey with the van. I'm just going to park on the road at the top and walk down through the woods with the dogs. Now, Finkel Abbey is only 10 miles from where I live, so there's nothing to see between here and there. It's just dual carriageway and main road. So I'll see you when I get there. First day of the year, making the most of the countryside. Oh, and so are they. Now, this little muddy path leads all the way down to the Riverside Walk. Now I've come this way because the dogs love a good run through the woods and I don't mind them getting a little bit muddy because they can clean off in the river at the bottom before we come back. And I've got my wellies on, so it's happy days. Come! <laughs> now if you do want to avoid the muddy path there's some steps that take you all the way down to the bridge over the river but it's quite steep and there are quite a lot of steps so it's something to bear in mind if you do have any mobility issues so as you can see the river is quite swollen at the moment and it's flown really fast so i'm going to keep the dogs on their leads until i find a safe area for them to have a little splash around and clean off they can go on the water when we've been to the abbey and i'll give them a good dry off with a towel before we head home Okay, so this is the bridge over the river where that takes us to the Abbey, and that's the little cafe with toilets that you can see there on the right. There's also a shop and the booking office for the campsite in the same building. Finkel Abbey, and if you're thinking of visiting here yourself, Look away now, I don't want to spoil it for you. You can look again when the music stops. Welcome to Fingal Abbey Village and Touring Park. Silence after 11pm, all dogs on leads. Please book in at office before pitching. If you've come through the barriers at the back of the Abbey and you intend to stay on site, head straight to the booking office to check in. This is the little shop I mentioned earlier and despite there being a whole river on your doorstep, they always leave a bowl of water out for the dogs. Nice touch that, very dog friendly. Now if you are just parking here for the day, you can pay £3 at the shop and get a token to open the barrier on your way out. 
So, that's my little tour of the Abbey. I'm now going to head back over the bridge and let these dogs have a splash in the water. They love it. Right, so instead of taking the path, which is that way, I'm going to try going up here. It's really steep, but the reason why I'm going to try and go up here is because it's not muddy. And they've just been in the river, these two, so they're nice and clean. And I don't want them covered in mud. Come on, this way. So let's see if I can get up this bank. Come. Good girl. Go on, get on. Go on, up you go. It's not looking good already. That's it, mush. Get me up this hill. This is steeper than it looks. Now this path's muddier than the other one. Okay, so I'm back home now. Thanks very much for joining me today on my walk. I really enjoyed the walk through the woods and if you are passing through the northeast of England, as I've said, it, Finkel Abbey is a lovely place to visit. So, something to consider. It's a lovely, relaxing, tranquil day by the river. In the winter, it gets quite busy in the summer, but in the winter, I love it. If you've enjoyed this video today or found it entertaining in any way, please consider subscribing and leaving a comment. It all helps my channel to grow, and it's grown all the time. And that's down to you. So thank you very much. See you in the next video. Bye for now. Okay, so thanks very much for watching today. It's been my pleasure to take it along with me. I hope you join me for the next video. What's that camera doing? <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> I, I'm, I've got a new camera. I've got, what's it doing? Come, come back. Where'd you go? Come back here. What, what's going on here? Bloody camera's got a mind of its own. Well, I put my glasses on. I can't see. There. What are you doing? <laughs> right. Okay, so thanks for, I'm back. <laughs>